So my study of personal development has inevitably led me into looking into the subconscious mind. And although my understanding of the subconscious mind is still in its preliminary stages, I feel like I am still able to give you guys some value through a story. Now, a while back, my friends and I were at the gym and we were trying to remember a name, a name of a guy we met in the gym. We couldn't remember this name for the life of us. We tried saying different names and seeing how they sounded and trying to recall his name. There was three of us and we all couldn't remember this name. So this was pretty frustrating, as you can imagine. Later that night, right before I went to sleep, as a side note, I thought, wait, what was that guy's name? Let's see if I could try to remember his name. And I couldn't. So I went to sleep. Now in the middle of the night, I woke up to the sound of a name. I heard George. So I woke up and I was thinking, what the hell? Who's George? And I realized that George was actually the name I was looking for. I quickly checked on Facebook. I typed in George and the guy actually popped up, the guy that we were trying to remember the name of. Now this obviously got me very interested into the idea of subconscious programming because Here was a perfect example of me sending out a request to my subconscious mind. Now obviously it wasn't a conscious answer because I was asleep. So the subconscious mind gave me back the answer and it appeared to be the right answer. So I've I've heard this before previously in different books such as Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, The Success Principles by Jack Canfield and all these other books. Now previously I thought this was just all fluff or law of attraction garbage to try and make sales because nothing lures people in better than telling them that their problems could be solved through just you know using their imagination and thinking the way out and letting the subconscious mind solve it all but here was a clear example for me that demonstrated that the subconscious mind was indeed a powerhouse that it did operate somehow like a computer If you think about many of your bodily functions, you have no conscious control over them. They happen in the background. Your heart beats by itself. You walk without thinking too much about it. Your body keeps its temperature by itself. When it gets too hot, it cools down. When it gets too cold, it warms up. It likes to keep that homeostasis. And all this happens without you thinking about it consciously. So what's responsible for all these functions is the subconscious mind. So the subconscious mind must be incredibly powerful because it's doing calculations every second. Thousands and millions of calculations are going on every second that you are not conscious of. So if you can just tap into this power somehow and utilize it for your conscious work, for your goals, you just imagine how much success you have. Many of the greats in the past have attributed their success to the subconscious or some other mind. They say that ideas that come to them are not theirs. They come from the ether or something. They come to them. They receive the ideas. And if you think about thinking, a lot of thinking doesn't seem to be very conscious. It seems as if that you receive certain ideas. You will be in the right environment and almost like a satellite, you can receive a signal from somewhere. Another aspect of the subconscious mind that interests me heavily is how it helps formate belief systems. Now we all know that as young children, we were very malleable. So certain beliefs and ideas are inculcated by our parents and various authority figures pervaded into our adult life. Now, If you were lucky, you were surrounded by people that supported you and put good beliefs that help you become a better person when you're an adult. However, some people had negative feedback. They had negative mindsets put into them. So inevitably, when they grew up, a lot of this feedback, a lot of these beliefs were still with them at a subconscious level. They might not have consciously been aware that they self-sabotage or that they fall victim to various self-fulfilling prophecies that destroy their work, but this could still be true. So what's interesting to me is being able to 
perhaps understand the mechanism for reprogramming these negative beliefs and replacing negative beliefs with positive beliefs so that you can almost succeed automatically. You don't have to put too much conscious effort into it. You can program the right mindsets and be good. So that's just something I've been looking into and I'm going to continue looking into. I will post any updates I find on this channel, of course. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video and leave a comment at the bottom telling me if you've had any experiences, any interesting experiences with your subconscious mind, anything at all. And also, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. We're going up. Peace. Do it! Just do it!